to my basement studio. We have about 500 square feet here, but no windows. And this is the, uh, my wheel, all the shelving that my son built for me, a wedging table, which I'm getting ready to put the handles on the mugs. This is where I put my work after I've gotten it off the wheel to dry enough so that I could trim it. These have been trimmed this morning after they dried that much. If I do hand building, I can do it on my wedging table. These are plaster bats to do reclaimed clay, work that has already been finished, and of course, my slab roller, which when I do sculptural work, I use the slab roller. And because we're in the basement, we also have a water heater. <laughs> Welcome to the Kugel Kiln. This is my wood kiln built in front of my house. And I built it with the design by um, Will Baker at Bakersville. He helped me design it and it was built because it was for women over 50 who want a wood fire. And this was because we wanted to lessen the impact on the body. So we do different things that help that. One is that you are able to stand up when you load, this is the loading area, and it's six foot high. So when I have a step that's here, I step up on this, and then I can stand inside and load the kiln. This is the door for the stoking. It's at waist level, so you don't have to bend down and stoke at this level. Inside, there's a, a bag wall and the vents on the back. So when, the, when you stoke the wood, it goes through, this is called an interior firebox. Different wood kilns are built differently. This has about 36 cubic feet and you stoke the wood, which falls down to about here. And then it has to go through this, all, through all the work and out the back into the chimney. So all the flame work on the pots is different depending on where you place the pots, how close it is to the fire, how close it is to the chimney, whether it's down, whether it's up, what kind of wood you're using. There are many variables in this. These are the shelves that we use, and uh, these are the posts. So that what you do is you put your shelves and posts, and as you go up, put your pots in, and then the next shelf will be the next height, and so you go up to six feet. So the posts are different heights depending upon the height of the pot. So they can be, the highest ones go on the top in this one. So if you have, pots and we have had pots this big and bigger they'll go at the very top and the fire still moves up through it it's a very well designed kiln in that the temperatures are very close from the top and the bottom the back and the front this is my work in the studio side that's in the garage this is work that came out of the last wood firing these two are both for the wood that have been bisfired and they're getting ready to be glazed. This is graffito, which I have started doing, which is carved into colored slip. And this is my bisque kiln. As we go around this way, this is my studio mate, my oh. sister, <laughs> Hello. Lorraine Kathy, who's a fiber artist. Hello. And over there is my glazes and all the work that I use when I make the glazes and the chemicals. And we have here my series, a house series, sheltered at home. This is going to be in the next firing and it's my Conifaris little um, house with toilet paper inside. And the title in this is, don't worry, we have plenty of toilet paper and then we have a whole series of houses with different titles on them that had, came out of the last firing that are my Shelter at Home series. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs>